This is a walkthrough video of the one library that started it all for me as a sound designer, the Airwave Omnisphere Collection Volume 1. So this one is a collection of over 150 patches and over 50 multis uh, for Omnisphere 2.7. I'm really proud of this uh, 2015 library that I have just updated in 2021 for the purposes of today. And so each and every patch, I say every patch, not multi, but patch uh, features the four controls that you can find in the collection volume three. So here is another, well, another example of what it can be here on the keyboard with the hot floor triple vibe. That was the original. And 67 with a nice reverb. Uh, the next one. So the, the cool thing about having um, four controllers for each patch now is that it evolves in any direction right at your fingertips. So it's really useful when you want uh, your patches to, um, to get into new directions. <laughs> Lots of evolutions and uh, and everything else, and you find, of course, the original state of the patches with a 2021 control. So uh, here, there's the Air Hats 01. Ice Danian is one of my favorites. So it features another series of kick drums. Again, full control. Ah, this one's nice because it adds a, like a techno groove underneath the, the bass drum. And here it adds another level of, yeah, really cool this one. Okay. One of my favorite patches from this collection is this one.
kind of um, sequence is shifted on the center. finger remember that it's just one finger <laughs> every t time and time again but um let's try some um some pads here from uh, from this collection Like this one, that's a, a good one actually. Check the full control. Mode. You see how all the different colors that it brings to this. Uh, collection of patches made in 2015 and updated for 2021. Let's try it on another one here. Uh, the Fall of an Angel. Become something completely different here. This is when I'm using CC4. See, it's <laughs> an entire sequence. I was clearly inspired by the likes of, well, my job for the Wave State and the Mod Wave recently for Korg, and uh, I made these. Uh, slight adjustments to the patches you know of course uh we you have a, a few multis here in uh in this collection uh let me just uh, show you a few of them Of course, you have to keep in mind that the multis are extremely CPU intensive. They were back in 2015, and I'm afraid they still are because Omnisphere went through uh, a lot of updates. And um, of course, these updates added some CPU intensive tasks in the background. So uh, which, made, which makes this collection specifically even with the latest CPUs from Intel, for example, either PC or Mac, it makes them extremely um, uh, CPU intensive, unfortunately. But I'm sure that if you have an i7 with a quad core, it should be okay. So uh, let's try another one here that I like. Just one finger again. <laughs> Amazing. All these things you can do with just one finger uh, with this collection.
You hear that? The CPU is choking. Um, as I said, these are no use in the multis because they add a lot of new features and a lot of CPU hungry features uh, in the patches only. So imagine having to deal with that uh, in a multi uh, mode for each multi. It would be, um, well, your CPU wouldn't like it at all. So I, I abandoned the idea uh, quite immediately, to be honest. But it remains a, a great collection of, um, of multis that you can use right away. Uh, let's initialize the multi once again, and uh, let's go back to volume one, the patches, and uh, stick in other things that you haven't heard yet. Uh, here, this nice sound effect inspired by Korg, the O1W, and Stephen K, who made this incredible uh, multi-sample for Korg called Flute Effects. So inspiring. Another one. You see the the level of texture that it can add to to have four um, four separate controls for your uh, for your patches. It's just incredible. I love it. Um, Another patch inspired by the 90 synthesizers. I'm uh, talking here about uh, the JV1080 from R Roland. You see here CC4 and CC67. So cool, isn't it? That was CC1 originally. You see, it adds a lot of new elements to each patch. It's like you're discovering each and every single patch in this collection. So that's it for this presentation vi video. If you need more information about this, you can find it on my website, airwave-music.com. On a side note, for all the plugin guru uh, customers who purchased this collection, of course, the update will be available from pluginguru.com, free of charge as usual. Many thanks for watching and uh, see you in uh, a future video. Thanks.